Father, in Jesus' name, I want to thank you for this beautiful day. As I share your word, oh God, use me as a vessel to reach your people at the very point of their needs and according to your riches in glory, in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Florence Minor, welcoming you to yet another time of celebrating your moment with joy this beautiful day. The title of my message will be Intercession and Forgiveness Brings Restoration. You know, when we choose to forgive, is we are giving somebody something. And the Bible says that it's more blessed to give than to receive. When you intercede for me, you're giving me a medicine of something I, do, I, I really need. And so if you uh, forgive or intercede for your friends, for your enemies, even when somebody has wronged you and they have not come to ask you for forgiveness, just forgive anyway because you know you are giving something and you're going to receive from the Lord. Sometimes it may not make sense or it is not realistic to forgive those people who wrong to you intentionally. But it's okay because it is for your benefit when you forgive and intercede or standing in the gap for such. We see in the story of Job that he went through a rot and he was mistaken by his friends. But you know what? They forgot. They did not know that he was in a process. God was preparing him for something great. The Bible says in Job 42 verse 10. And I'm going to read in two different versions with a reason. It says, King James Version says, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Hmm. Also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Okay. NIV says, after Job had prayed to his friends, the Lord made him prosperous again and gave him twice as much as he had before. Yes, there is a restoration. There is a blessing that comes when you intercede or you forgive and pray for your friends, for your families, for your colleagues, for your seniors, for your supervisors, for our our community leaders, for our church leaders, for our national leaders. Why? Because it is God who calls us to do that. When we intercede, we are pleading on behalf of somebody. And of course, when you remove the focus out of yourself, God will appoint somebody else to be praying for you. So I don't know where you are at. Maybe you feel like you are just down there. Maybe you do not even deserve to pray for somebody. God is waiting for you with loving arms to forgive you your sins. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, help us to know that intercession and forgiveness open doors. Oh, it's like a key that opens blessings. Oh my goodness, I want to thank you this day. Help us open the eyes of our, our understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. You are there, maybe you want to receive the Lord as your Savior. I would urge you to go to a nearby church that teaches the full gospel for your spiritual growth and remember to identify yourself with the body of believers. Again, I want to tell you, this word, it carries a lot of stuff that you need. 